I love you guys. <laughs> come here, come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Oh, family channels. The first true catalyst to the beginning of the downfall of society. Now, the only thing worse than the normal clickbaity and exploitative videos that family channels usually upload are the response and apology videos that family channels upload when they get called out for making those clickbaity and exploitative videos. And today, we have a perfect example of what might just be the worst apology video in YouTube history. Now, if you've never heard of the YouTuber Jordan Cheyenne, well, then congratulations. You are a normal person. But in short, she is one of those mom vloggers, has a young kid, makes unnecessarily long videos, you know, standard family channel stuff. And the other day, she uploaded a video about how her and her son's new puppy has Parvo, and she forgot to cut out a portion at the end where she tells her son to start crying so she can make a thumbnail. This is the clip. I love you guys. <laughs> come here, come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your head, put your head right here. Come closer. Close down. Put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, mom, I'm not just usually crying. No, I know, but go like this. For the video. Go like this, put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. No, mom, I'm actually crying. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. I know, look at me, look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. And obviously this caused a lot of backlash, but I really don't understand why. This woman's channel and most family channels out there are all about exploiting their children for views, so it's not like this is anything abnormal for the family channel community, but I guess the average viewer of those kinds of videos needs it really spelled out for them that that's what's happening. So of course she made a response slash apology video and it was terrible. And you know what that means, we gotta watch it. So let's not waste any more time, let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am putting up this video the minute I can address something. Um, I know a lot of you didn't see it, only some of you saw the video, some of you did not. Um, but I just put up a video maybe like 30 minutes ago letting you guys know we were going to announce our big news today. I was letting you know that we got a puppy. Unfortunately, she has Parvo, which she contracted before we bought her. Uh, we are very upset. We've been crying all day. It has been extremely scary. They don't know if she's going to make it. Um, it has been such an emotional day. So you had an extremely emotional day and the first thought you have is how can I make money off of this and then further exploit my child to make even more money off of it? I mean, this kid is genuinely distraught because he thinks his puppy might die and all you can think about is vlogging it. People like this should not have children. And I put up that video maybe 30 minutes ago. In the ending of the video, I was just so emotionally, honestly, completely worn out, emotional crying the whole day. I had Christian on my shoulder and I was like, here, come here, come pose for the thumbnail with me after the video was done. And that was so disgusting of me. I should not have done that at all. We were both already so sad and upset and in such a vulnerable state today. Yeah, so vulnerable and so emotional that you immediately stopped crying after you stopped filming what you thought the audience would see. Makes sense. And so many of you commented about it. The first video I uploaded, I forgot to edit out like my bloopers, so I edited out the ending. And so many of you said, girl, we already saw that. We're so disappointed in you, in the mom you are. Like, why would you make him pose for a thumbnail? And my... Like my heart like dropped. I rewatched the footage and I cannot believe I rewatched it and you guys are completely right a hundred million percent right and I so hope you know that I'm genuine about that because... Um, genuine about what? You never finished your sentence. You haven't made a statement yet. What you really want to say is that you can't believe you got caught. Your heart didn't drop because you felt bad. Your heart dropped because you know you got caught doing something you shouldn't have. Today was, I'll tell you all about the puppy another day, but we basically got a puppy. Her name is Rosie. We are hoping that she's going to make it through. She has Parvo. We've been in the emergency vet clinic all day. Um... And I was just so flustered and emotional all day and like was trying to rush with Christian at the end. And we were, I told him like, hey, pose for a thumbnail. Like this is a sad video, act sad. 
and that's just it's so wrong i should have never done that looking back at the footage i'm so disgusted with myself i want to thank those of you who brought that to my attention if you're really that disgusted and disappointed in yourself you should probably save all of this energy to apologize to your son he's the one who's actually suffering from this not random people on the internet who watch your videos he's the one who deserves an apology of this length um uh, some people were like, oh, she's turning off comments because she's ignoring it. This is not me ignoring it. This is me coming on camera five minutes after it happened. No makeup, nothing. Um, now I'm no makeup expert, but I would have to say that it definitely appears that this woman is wearing makeup. And how is that even relevant? Why would anybody care if you're wearing makeup? Go be a better mom. Stop worrying about defending what's on your face to people on the internet coming on and saying, I'm so sorry. Anytime I make a mistake in life or my friends or family do, I'm the first person to say, I will still respect that person if they own it and they say sorry. I was so watching it back. It's just, I think I was just so emotional today and flustered and like, I should never ever have even tried to do a thumbnail on such a video where we have been so emotional all day. Does she think that this is like helping her case? That her repeatedly saying about how emotional she is is making it any better? If you were really that emotional, a vlog would not be on your mind. Um, and I'm just so disappointed in myself. I want to thank those of you who called me out for it. A few people DM me on Instagram and I wrote back. I'm not shying away from it. I wrote back and I was like, you're completely right. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I greatly appreciate it. It sucks because now people are going to think that our emotions from today were not genuine when they completely were. Um, don't group your son into this. He is not the one at fault here. I don't think that anybody is not going to believe that the young kid crying over his puppy being sick is genuine. You're the only one in question here and I think I think your son is included in that. The fact that he kept saying that he really is sad and that he really is crying makes me think that he thinks that you weren't really sad and you weren't really crying. Why would you think he was putting on a front if you weren't? Christian and I have been crying literally the entire day. We got this brand new puppy who is adorable and such an amazing addition to our family. Found out that who we got her from gave, sold her to us with Parvo and she may not make it. I have been such an emotional wreck the entire day and my son as well. Um, and that's what I was kind of updating you guys on in the video because I said we had big news and then I said I was gonna have a countdown and a lot of you are waiting for the video today. Um, Wait a second, what? Let me get this straight. You had a countdown in an announcement timer for telling your audience that your puppy might die? And you expect people to believe that you actually care about this dog? I don't think she understands how much worse this video is making the situation. Uh, people sending me extremely harassing, cussing, violent DMs on Instagram, that is never okay. I love my son. We are going through a very emotional situation with the new puppy and me trying to get that thumbnail was just so wrong and such poor judgment of me, but it does not condone internet bullying and violence and harassment is a crime. I've gotten some DMs that are disgusting. No one deserves that. I'm not tolerating that. I will own up to everything that I do that is wrong and I will change it, but that is not okay. I will not accept that. Oh wow, how surprising. The family YouTuber turns their apology video into how they're really the victim here. How pathetic can you be? You exploit your child's trauma for views. You have no moral high ground here. Someone even said in the last video, oh, you're just making him cry for the YouTube coin. Guys, let me just be honest with you. The coin, the money from one video is nothing even it's, it would be like less than a hundred bucks I would earn from that video, to be honest with you. Like with this current CPM rate, I'm not doing that to earn millions of dollars or thousands of dollars. Then it wouldn't be monetized and you wouldn't have tried to get a clickbaity thumbnail with your kid crying. But guess what? You did. You definitely made that video to make money. With a clickbaity title, a thumbnail that says, look at how sad I am. Why else would you make the video? Wish I could show us at the vet crying and being so emotional and everything that happened. But then, you know, if I do that, you know what people are going to say? Why are you filming your son crying? Why are you filming the emotional moments? You know that social media has absolutely obliterated your critical thinking skills if you think those aren't valid questions. Well, that might just be one of the most pathetic videos I have ever watched. I mean, seriously. Go take this up with your son. Stop worrying about what the internet thinks of you in a time like this. Go apologize to the person who actually deserves it. I never understand the backlash when stuff like this comes out. Because I'm really sorry, but you honestly just have to be stupid to not know that this is how all family channels are. I mean, go look at popular family channels' videos and thumbnails. Half of them are their children crying, saying, we 
have really bad news. There'll be an RIP emoji in the thumbnail. Three kids will be crying. The dad will be on his knees shaking his fist at the sky. And the video is about how the McDonald's ice cream machine was broken. I mean, they're so pathetic. How are people surprised anymore? I just don't get it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.